Updates on the trial of Jerry Sandusky. Victim number 10 testifies that Sandusky threatened to separate him from his family if he told anyone of the alleged abuse. In the investigation against former Penn State administrators Gary Schultz and Tim Curley, new documents found by the Attorney General's office reveal that Schultz kept a secret file on Sandusky while he oversaw the campus police force. One countdown, but still 51 more to go for the defense in the trial of Jerry Sandusky. Prosecution forced to drop one charge due to the statute of limitations being up. This was the same clause that kept former Syracuse basketball coach Bernie Fine from being investigated by police. It didn't look good at the time, and now Sandusky's November interview with NBC's Bob Costas has been introduced to the jury. A witness in the trial of Jerry Sandusky testifies that one of the alleged victims has a reputation for dishonesty and embellishes stories. The defense has also brought forth several character witnesses on behalf of the former Penn State coach. When asked whether Jerry Sandusky would take the stand, defense attorney Joe Amendola said, Stay tuned. The jury is expected to begin deliberation on Thursday. The defense in the trial of Jerry Sandusky rested today without Sandusky taking the stand. For defense attorney Joe Amendola, Sandusky wanted to testify, but was told no by his counsel. It's all in the hands of the jury now. Closing arguments have been made in the trial of Jerry Sandusky, and the jury may begin deliberation this afternoon. This morning, the judge threw out three of the 51 charges against Sandusky, but the former Penn State coach still has 48 counts against him involving 10 alleged victims. No verdict yet in the Jerry Sandusky trial. After seven hours of deliberation yesterday, the jury wanted to rehear the testimony from two witnesses, among them Mike McQuarey. Meanwhile, Sandusky's adopted son, Matt, claimed he was a victim of the abuse and was willing to testify on behalf of the prosecution. The verdict, guilty. After just over 21 hours of jury deliberation, former Penn State assistant coach Jerry Sandusky was found guilty on 45 counts of child sex abuse. Sentencing will occur in approximately 90 days, according to Judge Cleland. Sandusky was immediately taken into custody of the sheriff, and his bail was revoked.